Okay, another exhibitions, new challenger. Tonight we got Broly Legs versus Mike Too Strong. I am going to pass it over to Mount Lover and our guest commentator, uh, Kamikaze Warrior. Hello everybody and welcome to another new challenger, first to 10 exhibitions. Today we are lucky enough to be able to bring to you this match between Broly Legs and Mike Too Strong. And I'm here with a uh, new co-commentator, Kamikaze Warrior. Kamikaze Warrior, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I stream, uh, oh, I'm a Ken player, and I stream the uh, Street Fighter Mondays and Tuesdays, but I also run the Reddit West Coast Tournament every Friday. So uh, if you guys like tournaments, sign up, go up to the show for that. It's free, fun to play. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what you host those over at the, what is it, redditfighting.challenge.com? Uh, yes, that's right. Gotcha. And speaking of that, uh, Mike Too Strong, our uh, geek player tonight, uh, is a regular to those uh, those Reddit fighting dumpster fires. He usually makes top eight. I think he even took a tournament, what, like a couple months back uh, for one of the East Coast dumpster fires. On the East so Coast, yeah. Certainly yeah. a very strong Geef player. You can see him ultimate grandmaster rank. And his opponent, of course, if you haven't heard of Brawly Legs, then you're about to. Brawly Legs is a very strong Chun player. Uh, Grandmaster rank, I believe in the Street Fighter 4 days, even uh, hitting like the first place on ladders and uh, making some top 8 appearances at uh, major Street Fighter 4 and maybe 5 tournaments. Um, oh, and he also has uh, Arthrogryposis, in case you didn't know. He has no, uh, he has no uh, uh, meaningful uh, faculty over his uh, legs or arms, so he plays with his mouth on an Xbox controller, no less. Um, however, he is a very strong Chun player. Um, yeah. If you haven't seen a video of him playing, like, check it out. It is insane. You will never, ever complain about execution problems with using your hands again. And he's sort of a shining beacon of the FGC, and especially of the kind of mentality that we have over a new challenger. He is sort of living proof that there is no excuse big enough for you to not uh, improve at fighting games. It, there's, there's no excuse that you can think of that would trump what this guy has done. Uh, when it comes to, you know, just overcoming disabilities and just becoming a solid player. He's not, he's not a, he's not a disabled player who is good at Street Fighter. He is a good player who happens to have a disability. Probably Legs is a legend. But without further ado, I think that we can go ahead and get into the match. Um, is there anything else? Is there any other background that you want to shed light on Mike Too Strong? Because I know you know him better than me, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, this would be interesting to watch if you guys um, didn't know Mike played at EVO where he was knocked out by uh, Punk's uh, Chun-Li, actually. Where he, it was a really close 2-1, uh, almost took it. Uh, Punk ended up betting it all on the X spinning bird kick uh, to make that, start that comeback, so. Uh, yeah, that's Mike... not like a fun I should dig up. I don't know why I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Too Strong versus Punk's Chun-Li of all things. I do yep. know that Mike Too Strong has a lot of Chun-Li experience uh, when it comes to this matchup in particular. Um, uh, well, God, there's there's one shot in particular that I think that he has been come facing off against regularly in the, in the past uh, few Reddit fighting dumpster fires. I don't remember what the what his name was, but uh, he used V trigger V trigger two in this matchup, and I, I love the idea of using VT two versus Geef. Um, I I, I don't know what the consensus is on Chun's uh, V trigger two is if there is one yet, but I feel like just on a hunch, like I I feel like V trigger two is probably the V trigger to use in this match. What do you think? Oh, for, for Chun using V-Trigger 2? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. It kind of, you can kind of press buttons into um, into V-Trigger 2 and kind of blow up flexes and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I, I agree. Although the multi-hitting properties of V-Trigger 1 are very tempting, so... Yeah, what I love about V-Trigger 2 in particular, like the Cardinal Santa facing off against uh, Geeve is that you never want to be negative in his face. And so while there's a lot that Chun can do to just sort of torment Keith in the neutral, there's a lot that she has to sort of seal off uh, out of fear of being, you know, negative in his face. However, you can cancel almost anything at that Kiko show, and you can even mm -hmm. uh, let it go for the level two to become plus. And so, mm -hmm. like, there's all of a sudden, there's a lot more options that become available to you with the, the V Trigger 2, whereas the VT1 just sort of makes the tools that you already have a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 
looks like our players are ready. We're about to start our first match. Let me know in chat who you think is going to take this one between Brawly Legs and Mike Strong. Mike Too Strong. Yeah. Throw out score predictions as well. Yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think it's going to be. Is it going to be 10 Is it going to be? Is it going to be 10 9? Let me know. I hope it's 10 9. To be honest with you, I don't want any more 10 on this on this All series. Right. All right. The more Street Fighter, the better. It looks like Brawly Legs is going to be going with VT1. I have not seen him play with uh, VT2 as of late. Round one. Mm -hmm. Fight. Oh, oh man, oh. starting things up with a bang. Was that a light? Yeah, I think that was just a light uh, SPD right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Mike Too Strong just immediately walking up, demonstrating that he's not afraid to just throw out those uh, those footsies SPDs. Looks like what he's trying to do right now is uh, catch a limb with his SPD, which Riley like, seems much easier. I was gonna say where, but you buy it. Just say it. That's one thing that's very tempting to do in this matchup. You can just throw out Chun's standing heavy punch just to just torment Geem. Just keep throwing it out until he demonstrates that there's something you can do about it. And Mike is already starting to set that precedent. Like, no, I'm not going to let you bully me. Mm -hmm. I, I, my 700-pound character is not going to be bullied by your 120-pound chun Lee. Yeah. Mike's one of those Zangief players that like makes really good use out of his uh, the jump medium kick. One of those things where, like, watching Mike do it, it's like that. It's like, wow, that is such a strong button, and I just never see anyone else use it, though. Good use of Brawly Legs, uh, using the step kick there, staying in front. Good blocks by Mike Strong, not getting uh, tripped up there. Ooh, Mike Strong just walking Brawly Legs into the corner. Brawly Legs even managed to get a crutch counter sweep there, but still stayed in the corner. Still managed to take that round, though. Okay, big Lariat. <laughs> Oh, great flex on the uh, forward heavy kick, and that is Mike's OP. bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Once again, Mike Strong just walking Broly Legs in the corner. I don't think we've seen a single side switch. Oh, okay. Um, I'm looking for something. Is that a dropped SPD input? That's a dropped SPD input. I'm not sure if he meant it, meant it to be an air one. He <laughs> jumped back, so probably not. Oh, here we go. Just like that, Brawly Legs has made up all that screen real estate that he lost. Oh, but a Ooh, great feature kill. That's... activation. That's yeah, dead. Yeah, that's gonna go. Final Roughly equal meter for both Fight. players on the board. There we go. Chun just built that CA. Oh, the great jump back. Oh, wow, great okay. combo spacing recognition there. That's that surprise that Chun always pulls out. Like, oh, whoa, she jumped back. She's not going to be able to punish that ultimately. Nope, just EX legs. Like, too strong. Not afraid to jump in, figure out any way that he can to pry open that that uh, defense of his opponent. Oh, and then great job recognizing. Yeah, good challenge. Yeah, you always want to challenge those Cyclones on block. With the caveat, if, if he does it on your wake up, it's Probably yeah, a meaty setup. It can be totally. meated on wake ups or some restands. You gotta just know those situations. Right. Otherwise, it's minus six and you just punish it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I probably like taking it. Game number one there. So I feel like this is this is sort of gonna be. This is just an interesting matchup in general between Chun and Geef because it's gonna be very slow, very methodical, but when Mike Strong takes rounds, it's gonna just happen in the blink of an eye. You're gonna see that health bar to dissolve. It's going to be something like four or five reads in a row. Probably Legs is going to be trying to jump away, and Mike's going to be following up with those air SPDs. Okay, sure. Just blocked V skill into SPD. Probably oh, the in your whiffed! Oh no, the block. See, there it is. There's the read. That only took, what, two or three reads? Mm -hmm. Gonna need one more touch. This is going to be a huge comeback for Brawly Legs to have to make, and he's not going to be able to do it from the corner there. Ooh, okay, Brawly Legs loves going for those neutral jump heavy kick anti-airs. And Mike also loves going for those uh, those jump and then whip the light kicks to minimize your hurt box, and it just <laughs> worked out perfectly for Mike there. Yeah, very fortunate for him. Yeah. 
probably like could use that that roundhouse just to sort of slow down the approach there from Mike too strong. There we go. There's the side switch, and I feel like that's going to be critical for Brawly Legs in this entire set. He's going to have to learn how to maybe give up a tiny bit of damage to get those side switches. Oh yeah, the space is so much more important. Absolutely. And this is something that I'm even guilty of not thinking about enough in this matchup. I'm very stubborn when it comes to, to giving up the damage, but in this matchup in particular, you do not want to let, let, let him walk you into the corner. Here we go, Brawly Legs taking another game for another I round. I want to say that that's one of Mike's silly oh, setups. Wow. <laughs> oh, big whiff on the Ford Heavy Take. Not a great whiff punish. You know Mike's going to be looking for situations like that to whiff punish with SPD. Oh, oh the again. manually timed VD. I love it. Third time? No. He <laughs> did not go for it the third time. He should have. That was an excellent trip card, but unfortunate drop combo there. Oh, like baby, read on the jump. Probably like wakes up the reversal. Just get off me. I still have some screen. It's okay. Oh, great punish on that V-Trigger activation. Jumping in there. Oh, okay. Probably like jumping around a little bit too much. He does not want to eat another one of those air SPDs. Might trade Cashy and the rest of his V-Trigger for a little bit of chip. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. See, yeah, there we go. Brawly likes jumping around a little bit too much, and Mike was looking for it. He saw those two jumps, and he was like, I didn't do anything about it. I gotta look for it next time. Standing just out of that jump in range. Mm -hmm. It's not even like Mike really walked out of the range either. That was just. He was just out of it. Jump. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was just misspaced. And that is a game on the board for either player here. So we've got ourselves a match. <laughs> yeah. No 10 0 today. The 10 1 is still a dream, but <laughs> we don't know for who. Here we go, big crush counter roundhouse, but oh no, didn't pick it up. Those whipped SPDs. Uh, ever since the uh, arcade edition, I believe those SPDs now have an extra seven days of recovery, so. Uh, probably like Approximately that well, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Give or take a frame. Like too strong, just getting whittled away by roundhouses here. I don't think we've seen a, a proper confirmation here. Oh, there we go. Just walk yeah. forward, check the time, call your mom, and then roundhouse, and that's how you punish those SCDs. Yeah, I don't like that he's not getting greedy and um, trying to get a bigger punish on those with with SCDs, like trying to jump in or something. You do have enough time to jump in. However, Brawly Legs is just going for the safe bet, going for those roundhouses. Yeah, probably legs trying to bully with those fireballs, and he should, by all means. Throw as many of those fireballs as you can until Mike gets around them. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he's not flexing more of them, but a great dash in to start yeah. a mix up game. Interesting option to flex that sweep there. He's managing to punch and connect there with the extended hurt box. Ooh, big bait! Looks like Mike and is starting to get set. a read on Brawly Legs' panic DP tendencies. Yeah, Brawly Legs has thrown out a lot of them so far, and it's only been two and a half games. Absolutely. I can understand it when he's in the corner, um, but when you only throw out the EX DP when you're in a bad situation, they start to become real easy to spot. You can bet that Zangief players are going to sniff out that fear. Mm -hmm. Oh, great sweep challenge at double dash. Good meaty back heavy kick. One thing I like about Brawly Legs that I feel like gives him an edge in this matchup is he likes to go for the non-conventional anti air So you won't see him going for the staying light kicks. You'll see him going for the neutral jump heavy kicks or the back heavy kicks. Doing that whatever works. That was so good. Finally. I love it. Yeah, the Chun confirms. Always looks so sick. Uh-oh. Brawly Legs giving up a little bit of screen real estate. Jump back, light punch. I'm not sure what that was supposed to be, but now it's got him in the corner close too. Spends all of it just to push him out of punish range. Oh no, oh. the counter hit! Not an ideal punish, but just enough to kill. Yeah. Say the counter hit on that jumping caused the uh, the SVD to whiff. Very unfortunate for Mike. Gotta hate it when stuff like that happens. The counter hit pushback. 
That's game number two there for Brawly Legs. He is up a game. Is he going to solidify his lead, or will we see ourselves an even match between these two for the entirety of the set? I'm going to bet that this is going to be a 10-9. This is looking like a 10-9 right now, <laughs> unless somebody makes some serious adjustments. <laughs> Round one. Fight. And Mike is, and I'm sure Brawly Legs is too, is really good at making those adjustments and tailoring his neutral game plan and his uh, offense to a player's defend in, uh, defense and their tendencies. Yeah, and that's absolutely a skill that Chun players need in this matchup. Chun has so many neutral options that sometimes you just have to pick and choose. And you can see Brawly Legs playing with his different options, using different normals, throwing out those fireballs more or less. Oh, okay, interesting sweet trade. Oh, big crush kind of roundhouse. No big confirm there. Mike looking like he wants to armor through some of those stand heavy kicks with a fierce punch of his own, but he doesn't quite have the timing, or he could just get that crush counter. Oh, okay. Interesting option there to go for some kind of a reset there on the V-Trigger confirmation. Probably I'm looking to catch Brawly Legs holding up. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm surprised he didn't confirm into V-Trigger off the, uh, the crouch jab. Yeah, he wanted to kill right there. Ooh, this is not looking good for Brawly Legs. What? <laughs> All right. That sucks. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Mike too strong. Uh, Brawly Legs are DPing exactly at the intervals between those crouching jabs. It's just getting, <laughs> just getting whiff punished. As you can see, crouch jab is OP. Uh, Capcom needs to nerf Geef for season four. If I was a Chun player and that happened to me, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe I should switch to Ken. That doesn't happen to Ken. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <sighs> Oh, okay. Once again, using that light kick to hold dry legs in place as he goes for the SVD. So annoying to, uh, to anti-air keep when he comes in with that jumping light kick. Mm -hmm. If you're not gonna whip your anti-air, sometimes it'll get stuffed. Yep. Big stun light. here, and oh, is this gonna kill? Not quite, but... Oh, not quite. Just one more touch will do it. Oh, goes for oh, the anti-air. Oh, the... <laughs> Alright, didn't quite get it, but I like the attempt. Not checking the dash properly, and uh, Brawly Legs was about to start his offense, but gets slapped out of the air. Brawly Legs, like a lot, all Chun players, love to go for interesting shenanigans with that V skill, but like all Chun players, realize that it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Geef's uh, jab is really good because it hits you know, right above, it just checks all of those, um, those V skill shenanigans. Yeah, that V skill is one of those things that it is strong until you stop respecting it. <laughs> and then it just, you realize, wait a minute, I could just walk under this. Oh, okay. Probably like just throwing out all the buttons in neutral right now. Ooh, catching that strong with the uh, headbutt? My, uh, Mike Strong saying, you know what, maybe you've got all these wonderful buttons, but I've got a head. That's right. I know how to use it. Oh, great pick up there again from Brawly Legs, knowing how to confirm off those straight Kikokens. Now working on a very convincing life lead, but Mike with the whiff punish into reset for the corner control. All right, here comes the running bear grab train. Only one. Oh, on crush kind of sweep. There we go, he goes to the side switch, that's what I like to see, and that just got him out of hot water. Brawly Legs could very much take this round now. Oh yeah. There it is. Round two. Fight. Once again, Mike Too Strong is gonna have to figure out a way to either open up his opponent or walk him into the corner, but Brawly Legs has been getting better about not giving up space. Oh yeah, he's been doing a lot more walk forward into his buttons. Mm -hmm. Kind of gain that space, which is a good adjustment. I love to see that, but... He's been playing a lot active. more active neutral. Not giving up space without putting out buttons to challenge Mike Strong when he tries to walk forward. Ooh, no, the jump back makes it impossible to punish that uh, SPD. I'm not going to say impossible. He probably could have EX legs or something. <laughs> makes it difficult to punish that <laughs> Okay, just the back dash. Wait, I'm too close. <laughs> yeah. Probably like staying out of that SPD range. Oh, good blocks and a confirm into V trigger. Not going for the reset this time, just normal Oki. Okay, what's gonna be? 
Oh, no bait legs. there. Rally legs. Going for the safe with punish on the SPD. Still managed to take the round. Yep. Great challenge after the uh, the jump in light Suddenly kick. Win. Knowing that Mike probably wasn't ready for that side switch. If I was Mike though right now, I, I'd be seeing those uh, those suboptimal punishes on the whiffed SPDs, and I'd be less afraid to whiff them. You start to you start to be afraid to whiff SPDs when somebody goes for the full jump and punishes, but when you just mm -hmm. when all you have to pay is a roundhouse, it's like yeah, I'll take that trade. Smart. Yeah, why not? If I connect with one out of every three of these SPDs, it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, big jump in out of Mike. Pushes Brawlix into that corner. Oh yeah, now Brawlix is going to be efficient for that sweep. Try and get that yeah. crush counter again so we can get out of that corner. There it is again, big whiff punish there. And yeah, Mike Strunk knows it now, he's throwing out those fierces. Oh, but a great use of the crush medium pumps to get under that. Ooh. And that's one of those situations where uh, I was talking about earlier, you never want to be minus in the team's face. And just then, even something as simple as blocking that EX leg, that is a mix-up in Mike's favor. Mike taking the throw one too many times. Probably like with great V trigger pressure there, just chipping away and able to fight his way out of the corner and take that round. Probably likes currently a round away from taking the first 2 0 two, two game lead in the set. Ooh, the jumping light kick dodges the back end kick out of the air. That's Bobby. why you gotta be afraid of trying to end here. Absolutely. Unless you've got some spectacular anti air. Like a like an air to air or like uh, I don't know Laura's heavy bolt charge. You gotta be afraid. <laughs> oh, reset the XXPD again. Probably likes has been dashing out of those, but this time for whatever reasons, the dragons or stayed grounded, cost him the round. Final round. Fight. Yeah, Mike too strong getting away with a lot of jumps now. And there's not really much that Broly likes to do to call it out. He's got to be looking for him. Ooh, okay, the side oh, switch. Dash dash under, yeah. That's not a bad option at all. Whoa, big whips. Yeah. But only getting caught by a couple jabs. Nothing to make Broly likes kind of worry about whiffing buttons. But oh, not ready for the running bear grab. Oh, there we gets go. the second one, though. Probably legs really could be getting a lot more mileage out of these whiff punished SPDs. Consistently going for what he can get. Yeah, probably legs. For some reason, just deciding to be more grounded. Mike's calling it out, getting a couple of good SPD reads in there. I highly suspect that the next situation that happens, Mike's gonna be catching him with an air SPD. That situation was so risky just now in so many ways. Brawly legs coming out on top there. Mike jumping in right on top of that slide. If that slide had, if he'd landed one frame later, that would have been a free whiff punish there from Mike. And that mm -hmm. would have been an entirely different round. But instead, just... he managed to land on the last active frame of that slide. And God knows what the frame data was there. Mike was afraid to press buttons. Yep. Brawly legs took his turn. One thing I'm surprised is every time in B True 1, oh, Brawly legs is just getting in Mike's face pressing Four. buttons, Mike has just sat there until he finally got thrown or counter hit tech trying to tech throw. There's that Surprise same not... interaction again. Mike like, okay, you like the back heavy kick ant here? Alright, let's keep jumping from exactly this range. Yeah. See what you do about it. There's the air to air finally. Gets the side switch and the better screen positioning. Mm -hmm. Probably like showing some great adaptation here. This is this is the sign of a true Chun main when somebody knows how to use all of Chun's tools. Because let's face it, she has too many tools. But when somebody knows how to use all of them and mix them up to keep your opponent on their toes. That is the sign of somebody who's been a a true soul Chun main since probably before the Street Fighter 4 days. There's a neutral jump heavy kick. He hasn't been getting much mileage off of that. But it is a better alternative than light kick. And they call out. Probably legs knows that Mike doesn't want to give up any more opportunities for damage and Hits him with that EX spinning bird kick. Again, the slide hand here. <laughs> I like oh, it. It's 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 really smart. It gets around like 
all of the different buttons that you've been or the Rolling legs is like, out. you know what? You're gonna minimize your hurt box? Let's minimize mine as well. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Ooh, big crush counter and here. Oh, the running bear reset. grab resets. Those should never work. Aristide. They always work. No, just like little shimmy. One Not enough to stun. Touch away from the stun, and there it is. That's what, I, that's what I was pointing out earlier. Brawly Legs has uh, very strong panic DP tendencies. You you rarely ever see him DP in situations that are not panic situations, like the EX legs in a DP or just the mid block string DP. It's always on wake up, always in panic situations. Mm -hmm. Great spacing out of Mike there on that SVD. Oh, okay. Brawly Legs doesn't try to challenge that, uh, that flex. Okay, here. Oh no, goes for some kind of weird hard read there. That was yeah. the hardest of reads. Just the meaty jab and it connects and then the neutral jump. <laughs> here, SPD. Yeah. Oh, he's too strong. He's in somebody's head. Somebody in the audience is like, oh, I got hit there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I got hit. By that <laughs> yeah, spend all the V trigger. Don't get punished. Good there we go, the back heavy kick worked that time. Oh, and he finally it's crossed up. We've seen him do that step kick into the, the medium kick in front two or three times now, and I'm just thinking, when is he going to go behind? He finally did it, and it got him a, ga it got him a game. Let's see what kind of adjustments Mike is able to make, because he seems to be doing mostly the same the same things, and it's Brawly Legs that's uh, really changed his neutral to match what Mike's doing. That's the thing about Geef play. It's like, it's really hard to notice the differences that they're making in their game plan, because it always looks like Geef, you know? <laughs> There's a very distinct Geef quality to everything that he does. It's like, okay, you grabbed him, but it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You, you have to be in this game to really see the mind games that are going down. Mm -hmm. Every single time Brawly Legs like does something like gets a normal blocked, he has to panic and he has to go, all right, how's, how is my opponent going to answer this? Of course, I say that and Mike started becoming much more active with a lot of dashings and Brawly Legs matched the pace immediately. Mm -hmm. so, Here we finally. go, we're back to the micro walks forward, putting Brawly Legs in the corner saying, I'm not going to get swept by you this time. Mm -hmm. Didn't need Once to. Once again, the crouching medium punch anti air. Are we are we gonna see Brawly Legs run away with this? Are we gonna see a 10 2? Let me know in chat if you think we're gonna see a 10 2. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Again, that's like the fourth time we've seen that interaction. It's <laughs> really good. Jump in light into the XSPD. At this point, Brawly Legs is gonna have to consider just trying to anti air with backdash or something. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, lots of jumpers coming out. And he's getting trades in his favor. Yeah. I, I'm always hesitant to say, okay. Like, I was gonna say, really smart jumping choice there. Mike was afraid that any air because of he was so close to stun that any trade would have stunned him. Mm -hmm. Meaning that probably likes him just jump in for free, just like he was doing. So, smart stuff out of him. <laughs> Morkrab says Mike is saving his Omega Mondo secret tech for the 2-9. Good use of the word Mondo, my friend. <laughs> yes. That's a tubular word if I ever heard one. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Yes. It's gonna be 2-9 and then Mike's gonna bust out the VT2 and we're all just gonna see him. <laughs> see insanity. I don't even know what gives VT2 is. <laughs> it just gives them uh, more damaging SPDs. Oh, right, that one. Yep. It's one of those things where if a Geef player picks, up, picks V Trigger 2, he's straight up saying, hey, I'm going to SPD you for free the entire game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's saying, like, I know you well enough to make this V Trigger worthwhile. I can pop it and still catch you with a grab. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. I love like the anti. juggles with the back heavy kick. All right, Mike. Going for those, specifically those far jump-ins at that exact range. He's looking for another whiffed anti-air. Mm -hmm. 
Once again, I'm surprised Mike's not uh, flexing more of these fireballs. Like, even just one of them, like, I mean, what do I know? He's about to win this round, but like, <laughs> even just one of them, it would have given him B-Trigger by now. Flex is one of those things that seems like a great idea when you think of it, and then after you actually flex what you want to flex, it's like, crap, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, okay, talk up and light SPD. And that's just enough. The footsie's light SPD. He is so good at that because, like, you have a slightly extended uh, hurt box when you're crouching. That that SVD hits from farther away than you were than you think based on the normal neutral game. Absolutely, I hear a lot of newer Geef players going. You know, what is his light SPD for? I don't see any reason to use it. I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> look at the range on it. Just yeah. like go into a hurtbox viewer and see how far it goes. That grab has longer range than a lot of your buttons. <laughs> right. Ooh, whiff, heavy punch, and the whiff, heavy punch going straight into that super. That should be enough to kill. I'm not sure what Brawly Legs landed oh. with that time around. He, he did an empty neutral jump and then tried to press something when he when he landed and just got crush countered. And that cost him the round. I feel like that might have been a backdash, possibly? Um, I can't imagine maybe, that he would have yeah. landed and tried to press a button like that. Yeah, maybe might have been a backdash, you're right. I feel like Mike just, like, he had that... He had that whiff, like, oh, you know you messed up. You're gonna want to back that. You're gonna panic back that. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, good roundhouse anti-air. It's a little bit more difficult to work with. Oh, no, no punish on that SP that time around. Yeah, no. It's committed to that fireball. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Those are your those are your big chances. That's your moment when you're playing a geek. <laughs> that is that is you got selected for American Idol and you're on the main stage. Your opponent whipped SPD. You're, you're in front of Simon. You're like, sing your heart out, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you drop the punish, and that's just your voice cracking in front of millions of people. <laughs> yep. Oh no, Brawly legs Good in bait. the corner here. There's vomit on his sweater already. Here we go though. Alright, just one more touch one out of Brawly. All it takes to get you out of that corner. Catches yeah, them with that foot. Round two. Point. It's interesting to see the cycles of buttons that Brawly Legs is doing. Like oh no! Like whatever his preferred neutral button is for that that round, essentially, mm -hmm. he'll be throwing it out like every couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. And then next game, he switches it up, picks a different button. Oh, big block lariat and good punish with the EX legs. Mm -hmm. Great uh, or challenge on that whiffed sand heavy kick by sweeping. By the way, any newer players, if you're not sure what you're looking at when it comes to the Zangief matchup versus anybody, look at the ground, look at the training stage, and look at that cross in the middle, and pay attention to how it moves throughout the matchup. Because it is very painstaking for these players to make any kind of movement back and forth on this uh, ground. And especially Zangief is trying to push his opponent to that corner. So just then you see Brawly Legs give up all that space. And then take it oh. back like that. Oh no, that big drop! Oh, oh, and the there we go, an optimal SPD. punish. Yeah, so much of Zangief's game plan is about trying to push your opponent to the corner so that they have nowhere to run and they have to eat your SPD mix-ups. Mm -hmm. And it, so it can be like you're on 70% health and Geef is on 30% health, but if you're in the corner, that is even. It is still anybody's game. That's right. Now you get out of the corner and all of a, su and all of a sudden you it's like a locked-in oh, round. Boy. Yeah, all, getting out of the corner versus Geef is like you just etch a sketch like the, uh, the Sistine Chapel. And then somebody <laughs> shook it a little bit. That's what that's what it feels like is the key player. <laughs> oh, big. shout out to Renaissance Art. <laughs> oh, big, big armor flex. in the EX SPD. And that's Oki. One touch from stun, possibly two. There it is. Oh, of course, the double headbutt combo. <laughs> As if one headbutt wasn't good enough, we'll do it again. That's right. Uh, 
We got some Oh no, spectating has been halted. I'm gonna let you solo commentate this one. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. So, Mike letting go of that flex a little bit too early. Oh, good job. Good idea using the uh, second sand heavy punch to uh, armor through that sand heavy kick, but a great challenge on that dash in. Catch is Riley Lake just sitting still. What's it gonna be? Oh, wants the RSPD. Riley Lake staying grounded, Mike not committing to it. Now he's got that uh, spring control, almost pushing Brawl Legs back into the corner. He's got B trigger on deck, not activating off the um, that Fierce. Could have gotten something, and a little bit too far away to punish that fireball. Very unfortunate for Mike, as Brawl Legs continues to get a lot of air to air with so that jump, neutral heavy, and then once again too far away to, to punish that fireball. And Mike's B trigger is out. Raleigh Legs is almost there, gets it, but it gets caught by an EXSPD. Not enough to kill. What's it gonna be? A block. Oh, EX spinning bait. bird kick. The EX spinning bird kick, and that's gonna be enough to close it out. Yep. Oh man, I'm sad I missed that one. We got a game from Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Magnegro in the chat. How's it going? So does that mean that you got back in? Yeah, I'm back or... in. I'm back in. I just have to watch a little bit of DBZ mode Street Fighter 5 and I'm back. <laughs> Alright, it's currently 4-7. to seven. Brawly Legs still with the game lead, but Mike finally managed to take one after letting Brawly Legs take Rod uh, run a train on him. Yep, and Mike recognizing that Brawly Legs is doing a lot of walk forwards and the neutral is calling them out with SVDs. Can we acknowledge that anti are sweet just now? That is an answer that I hadn't been thinking of, but it is very smart to deal with those, uh, deal with those far jump into the light kick. Mm -hmm. Reach just a little bit further there. Oh, good anti there. Yeah, yeah. Stopping that momentum from Brawly Legs, not giving up any more space. Brawly Legs anti air is so good. Yeah, the juggles with the, the roundhouse anti air and the back heavy kick anti air. He knows how to make the most of that V Trigger one. Mm -hmm. That's oh. probably exactly why we haven't ever seen him switch to V Trigger 2. I'm out, I was also thinking that perhaps it might be an, ex an execution thing where he doesn't want to learn mm -hmm. a new execution for like block strings into a V-Trigger activation. Mm -hmm. Not sure though. Oh, okay. The sweep is all you needed. Just whip punish that SPD. Take that round. Round two. Oh, okay. A little bit of overcommitment with that uh, that dash up sweep. He's looking yep, for something. A little bit too close. Oh, catching out the heavy kick with a headbutt. I want to see more of that. Feel out the sweep this round. He's just uh, he's gotten some success with it, and so he's just trying to use it more. That was something that um I was curious about because you know he was using it a lot in the corner, and there's no mm -hmm. reason not to use it in the neutral. Mm -hmm. Because you can still space proper you can't really get anything more than a crouch jab punish. Yeah, like you can get a punish, but not a wonderful punish. Mike perhaps got a little impatient. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Just full screen, non-EX running bear grab. He was, um, I'm gonna say that he had a read on something. He was trying to catch a button, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say, so what he likes to do is he likes to buffer SPD a lot, mm -hmm. which is, he goes like, or buffer air SPD a lot. Oh, so, so you're he, thinking uh, maybe he just accidentally a normal press light kick? Yeah. Yeah. I guess he'll go like uh, forward, back, down, and then if he sees you jump up, he'll just press up and and punch, and that's an instant air SPD. Yeah, I have seen Mike pull some crazy uh, running bear shenanigans, but it's usually EX. I've never seen that uh, yeah. just the overall light uh, running bear grab. Oh no! Pressing heavy punch right into that uh, that armor. Oh, the back dash getting out of way of that back heavy kick. Not able to make anything out of it though. It's Raleigh Legs. Oh. Is looking pretty good right now. I was about to say, just go for the instant air. There it is. Round two. Point. Yep, looks like I might be the one getting booted out of com uh, spectating mode right now. Alrighty, back in a solo commentary mode it is, this time <laughs> with me. Broadly legs. Oh, just letting Mike just armor walk in front of his face like that. EXDP, the get off me button. Vacuum. Probably like it's not really challenging, ideally there. 
Okay, big attempt at a read there. Just the jump forward EX air SPD. Not catching anything in particular. And then a running bear grab, the shenanigans. Yeah, that air EX SPD, it was really smart for Brawly Legs not to press a button there, because that certainly would have extended his uh, hurt box into that uh, SPD. And again, closing out the round with the instant air overhead step kick. The air walk. I, I feel like that's another one of those tools that Brawly Legs just he finally like thought of it or he just finally pulled it out of his toolbox and he was like, you know what? That words work. Let's try it again. <laughs> Get ready for, for, well, actually it's four to nine right now. <laughs> he only has to connect with that two more times to take this set. Round one. Probably Super legs about to run away the 10 four. Let me know in chat. You think it's going to be 10 four? <laughs> <laughs> His bets are no longer worth anything. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just the punish on the sweep with the crouching jab. Not much more that he could get. Oh, okay. Big whiff punish on that back heavy punch with the SPD. Oh, again! Oh, we're never going to stop seeing that. Just the, the anti-air not quite reaching. Oh, big drop. <laughs> Both our players just staring at each other down. Yeah. He's gonna press something first. Mike with some good blocks of surprise. The oh, catches him with the V trigger and is that enough? Probably that is. is. Enough. Round two. Probably like a slight meter advantage here. <laughs> Not going for the end here that time. I have, I have learned. Yeah. <laughs> Good roundhouse. Oh, the triple whiff back heavy punch. Probably not the best of ideas. Try to catch something. Instead, caught these hands. Ugh. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna try that again. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was good to see him try for it. He just wanted to see. He's not afraid to experiment with these chun normals, but uh, he got a little bit mad scientist there. Oh, the reset to the back throw immediately in the corner, and that changes everything. Okay. Oh, right. the EX like catches the jump in very I've never seen for Brian legs. That interaction with the EX legs, but it was it worked. Yeah. All right, goes yes, behind again. Overhead again. Mike's defense not good enough. Final round. We are on set point here for Brawly legs. Mike can also. Take it up 10 5, I mean 9 5 if he can just, uh, oops. Take it up to 9 5 if he, uh, takes this round. He does have a meter advantage. He can certainly run away with this one. Mm -hmm. Big roundhouse of the EXR SPD. This is gonna be good, Oki. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be the grab again. No! Headbutt. Should then a block expecting some uh, spinning bird kick, but. Let's probably, like, get away. Now Mike has a mountain to climb. He just went up and down one right there with that EXSPD. <laughs> oh, and there it is. The V trigger right through the fireball. That fireball is a great option, except when your opponent has V triggered. There it is. 9 5. Meaty headbutt. Probably catching Brawl Legs trying to jump back or something. Mike Strong trying to go to work with this matchup. It's currently 9 5. Round one. Alright, Bry Legs still on set point here. Mm -hmm. Mike being oh, very not challenging patient. that forward heavy. Oh no, armoring through the fireball, but just completely whiffing. Whoa, okay! <laughs> but the chase down catches <laughs> out the button. Catch the button with the light SPD. Mike has done this so many times. It's such a risky thing to do in your game plan as a thief, but Mike just does it. And again! The crouching medium punch, the slide anti-air. Getting way more success with that than, than I feel like you should be. A great call out on that, uh... Reset into heavy SPD. Probably legs so and good at guessing right and then guessing wrong. <laughs> that's, that's what it's like to play Geef.
Yeah. All right. Cool. I woke up safely. Nope. Still grabbed. <laughs> Round two. Unfortunate Mike already committed to the jump light kick. Could have gotten a big jump in if he pressed any other button. Probably legs. I kind of want to see more fireballs. Just keep throwing them out. Make them deal with them. Oh no. Pressing a button into that armor, but. There we and go. And the tick throw. I love it. And the oh, running no, the bear resets. grab. Into the running bear grab. Probably legs. Catches a back dash, I think. Almost on the stun. Ooh, the headbutt. Alright, that was a good. That was a good EX spinning bird kick. Oh, good anti-air. Oh, oh, what? I think that it was a like counter hit. Yeah, I'm not sure what through. that was. He wasn't out of light SPD range. That just that was that was interesting. I think it was because the crouch heavy punch or crouch light punch was a counter hit. That he yeah, so he was still in hit stun or, or something. Or blocks. I don't know. Very unfortunate for uh. For Mike. Yeah, that would have been it. Still set point. Mike just playing pretty well, well into these nerves. He's when you're on uh, match point or when your opponent's on match point, you can easily break down the nerves here. Like, oh, I have such an insurmountable comeback, but no. He's doing a good job of mixing in solid play with taking risks, not going like too ham, not trying to, you know, just go crazy. He still has a solid game plan in place. Seems to be working, although he just tries to tech their brawly legs with no confirm though. Working with a huge life lead. Mike has a lot of meter, and all, there we go. He has full resources on that V trigger. He's he's going to be looking for fireballs right now, and brawly legs is not going to throw them. Hopefully, I'm giving you credit here by saying you're not going to throw a fireball when your opponent's <laughs> looking for it. And there we go. Sometimes you just can't help yourself though. Yeah. When you're chun and you're down backing, it's like, oh wait, check out this fireball. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mike's in danger of getting chipped out too. <gasps> what? Russell oh. portfolio. Here we go. Oh, just goes for it. So much damage, it. but you still have a huge mountain to climb here. Yeah, it's the, just the whiff normal into muscle by volume. Oh, tries the anti with the larry, but a little there bit There we too go. Late. Broly legs. Gonna take it with the EX legs. That was that was a tense Only final you. round. I don't know what was happening there, but Broly legs manages to take it in the end with a convincing 10 to 5. Congratulations to both of our players here, and big, big props to Broly legs. And also big props to Mike Too Strong. This is definitely, uh, I, mean, I mean, I feel like it's a, it's a matchup that's definitely in Chun's favor, although uh, it can be stressful for both players. Mm -hmm. Congrats to both of our competitors here. You can catch Brawly Legs at, uh, you can, I mean, you can catch Brawly Legs, I think he streams occasionally on twitch.tv slash Brawly Legs, and he's very active on Twitter, at Brawly Legs. Definitely give that man a follow. He is certainly a man worth following. Mm -hmm. Uh... Also, same with Mike Too Strong, he streams under uh, that same name. Uh, always streaming, something like he's doing something like five or six days a week. You can always catch him. Great streamer, very chill, very happy, and is always willing to help new players out. So give him a uh, check him out. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout outs to Mr. Vinegar. Uh, he is uh, the host of the well, the, the, the owner of the Adu Challenger Discord and the host of this first to 10 exhibitions. These, this would not be a thing without his uh, time and effort. And also shout out to Frabasaur, who is our matchmaker, who uh, made our matches between our two players today. Um, and also big ups to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for coming out. My name has been Mount Lover. And I'm Kamikaze Warrior. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.